Without me, eyes are marbles. No darkness they see. Faces look garbled. No flurry they feel. No breath, no cheer. Death not to fear. Time is not spent. Loses has no scent. At nothing you can marvel without me. But it wasn't roses, my precious. Not roses. Lilies. Not lilies. Not roses. Which one was it, precious? upon his back. We may provide you with a car. There is no hope for him, I fear. The creature is lost. Well, let's see how he responds to some light. Someone tortured him long before the Dunadan found him. The darkness grows beyond our borders. My people are growing anxious. We cannot let this evil linger among us enough. We believe that he went to Mordor. That's what I feared. What did he hope to find, I wonder? Lagos, I want to hear what he has to say. Why don't we start with your name? Your real name, not the one others have given you. Very well. Let us try someone else's name. Bilbo Baggins. Yes, you remember him. He found you, more than 60 years ago, deep underneath the roots of the Misty Mountains. He took something from you. A ring. My precious. You were looking for it, weren't you? You left your home in the mountains, worming your way down the hills, always hiding from the moon. You followed the Hobbit's trace all the way east to the Lonely Mountain. But then you stopped and turned south. Why? Something must have drawn you away. A voice calling you to the land of shadow. Leave us alone! Whispering your name in your dream. Not listening! So, once again, what is your name? Smeagol. Very well, Smeagol. Now, let us start at the beginning.
plug. Mountains of Shadow. That is where you are hiding. Must it ask? Why is it asking us questions? Why? You know why. Talk to the orcs. Never. But we have sharp ears and we listen. When we came, the nasty orc, long dead. You must have had friends once, a family. birthday. Perhaps she helps us now, the great spider. Perhaps. We both are beasts to eat, yes, and crunchy oxies, but she doesn't like them much. <laughs> No nice friend was he precious. <laughs> Not tricksing us now, is he? Hmm? No. No. Not anymore. It was ours. Oh, 
your precious, my birthday present. It came to me on my birthday. So I've heard. Ox couldn't see us. No one could see us. Not even nasty wizards. How did you find it? Your precious. <laughs> nasty light. Smeagol wants to sleep. He cannot sleep now. But I shall dim the light for you. But all the same, sweet one. Just names in a stupid song. And if she's not happy, what does she do then? I have wraps us all up like spindles. No, not for her tunnels, not yet. Must bring her nicer things than oxes. So you never left that cave? Never. And no one ever saw you? No one. Tell the wraiths and squeal on us. <laughs> Dirty little spy, squeeze it. Yes, squeeze the cracks, and then we eat. <laughs> He's alive. Oh. Of course he's alive, you scum. Did they breed you in a crate? Her ladyship just gave him a sweet little uh, kiss. Uh, cautious now. Best speed. Orcs mustn't see us. There, see? Right on his neck. Kissed him, eh? Probably forgot him, or he'd be off to her larder. Lady doesn't care too much for our sweet flesh and bones. Uh, uh, Isn't that uh, Uthak? It is, Uthak. It's some pretty new silk. What's the plan, Uthak? Skip the lunch. <laughs> Come on! They 
left. What was that? And that's how far you ever went into Mordor. We never, never left the clouds. Why is it asking us? There it is. A spy. Two of them. Two little croaksers. In mountains, he might see by him. Not him, not him. Don't speak to him. Don't listen. Just reporting. Lupus will know what to do. They will tell him. He will know. And it's two of them. Follow, but quiet. Stay in the shadows. What about the bird? Forget birds. I'm telling you, it was that little one. She lost spider friend. I haven't seen it for years. I hope her ladyship had sucked it dry. Yeah, shouldn't report it. It's always the trouble. Then they send their blood out, and that's never fun. They never caught you, yeah? Then why are there torture marks on your hands? Mustn't lose them.
us no harm, does it? Could be a spy. It could be. Doesn't look evil to us. Look. Too harmless. Yes, it's a spy. It looks funny. Funny things aren't bad. Just another disguise. Birds, orcs, bugs, all false. Don't let them tell on us. Smash it. Smash it, swallow it whole.
more of them. brought you to him, didn't they? The Dark Lord. What did you tell him? What did you tell Sauron? Nazk. The ring. Nazk. What did you tell him? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, we swear. We swear. Don't tell them, precious. Baggins took it. Baggins from the Shire. So he knows. some bread, yes. I don't want to be quiet. Please, Smiku doesn't know a thing. We swear, Finn old man must tell them. Be quiet. You will get us all killed.
Diablo! Ubrishen! Tchai! Dai! Dai! Snagas Migrishash Tool! Smeagol doesn't know what to do! Reading. Move! Move, you scum! Find what? Drunk! Nimda! Nimda! Oh, Just keep your head down. Do what the masters tell you. Run! Run till your feet are bloody! What is that thing? Not a dwarf. Not a goblin. Too ugly for either of them. Be quiet. Yes, my king. <laughs> I don't care if you're tired. I don't care if you're sick. As long as you run. Oh, Linda, see that one? Oh, these new slaves are winklings. The Morrocks like them. I'm not picking up scattered bones again. Oh, but you'll have to. They need all the strong ones higher up now. Oh, cruel ox, cruel men. What has Smeagol ever done to them? <laughs> Oi, Miss Tiglaf. Nimdai, Slogovishil, Golsuk. Please, we don't understand. This way. Grashnik, I didn't catch your name. Some calls us Gollum. Gollum? Hmm. You're going to die down here, Gollum. My advice, make your death count. You have to get the Borrocks back into the pens, as fast as you can. They let you starve if you're slow. Borrocks? The beasts. If they run at you, find cover. Get to high ground if you can. They don't have the best eyes. Open the pens and lure them in there. Then quickly close the gates. Pens? <sighs> All right. I will help you. Climb the ladder. The gate is not for us. First things first, the slaves chase the cattle. The cattle chases the slaves. You are the bait. If you're careless, you'll get trampled. Lure the animal into the pen, and then quickly shut the gate. Those beasts love to break the levers. That's why there's another one on top. Now down on the other side, carefully. Get his attention and run. Now run! Run to the bay! And that's it! Hold on. No, it's not. Very well. There is another pen, back there. But the way is long, and the Boroks are fast. These ones are bulls, so I wouldn't trust the fences to stop them. 
If they get too close, try getting to higher ground. Precious? Beastmaster will tell us. Not too bad. For your first day. Not too good either. No more work down below, though. They want me to keep an eye on you. Their newest scheme to humiliate me, I suppose. Next, the mines. Try, try, try! Snackle up, move! Precious, is it asking riddles? Don't listen to her. There's a reason she's in a cage. What reason? She is a witch. Well, that's the rumor. <laughs> is it a witch, Precious? Does it know curses? Or riddles, perhaps? Water. No, no water, no. No nice water. Does he? No. 
And what does a good slave do? Huh? A good slave that doesn't know the words? He learns. Maybe you should run, little slave. We want to be done before the third horn, don't we? Please, wait. The frail man must help us. Uh. Huh. What was that? The bridge. Now, oh, come on. They want you to search the tunnels for dead workers. Dead? They didn't report back yesterday. Find their bodies, collect their numbers, as quick as you can. Numbers? Yes, their tags, like the one they gave you, eight. You're on your own now. Eight bodies, eight numbers. It's too hot. Oh, these are the mild parts. Come on! What's coming, you scum? Or would you prefer the fiery rivers? Who wants to join the brainless maggots down there? Hey, look. Is that the cop? What is he doing? Didn't think so. <gasps> look at that. He's incredible. And now he's coming here. It gives me shivers. The number anymore, does it? That's one, seven left. Not nice work. Freak is that? Oh, we must rest. Not now, love. Not yet. Hey, what is that? Looks like a frog. Don't listen, my love. See? 
made it down. Ah, it's too hot. It burns our skin. Sending the weak up to the tower. It didn't even fight. They never do. No. Yes, that's bound to happen with a broken neck. What happened? The little squealer got what he deserved. Have them clean this up. Someone killed him, I swear. They were starving and wet. Corner at the window. He doesn't need it anymore. Why do they call it King? This one? Is it a king? Yes, is it? Mm, here we go. That boring story again. Sephard the Sand Flood King. Blah, blah, blah. Stupid name for a stupid king. No kings that one precious, just bones that creaks. Ha! That's right. He's a useless millstone chained to my foot. Nick. What did you say? Never mind. <sighs> and then he will go on and on about 
about that other stupid desert king? King Ochman. Osman. King Ochman from the Chalk Mountains. How he destroyed Ochman's armies and gave all his soldiers to Sauron the Great as a tribute. Nah. But the Lord punished him for that, isn't that right? Because Ochman was his servant too, you see. <laughs> Southrons, go back to your desert. So, yes, I am a king. I've seen people sit there all night, staring out that window. Hatching out plans. Good, clever plans. All dead and gone. What are you looking at? The bridge? The gate? Ah, oh, yes. That beautiful gate. Leads straight out of Lugborz, they say. There it is. Opening to the chime of a bell. A cunning invitation. Who lives in the tower? The master of the Black Pits, a sorcerer. But the orcs just call him Candleman. Candleman? Maybe they think it's him who's light barns in the tower. Alas, there is only one way into the Tower of Light. The one that our sick friend Darimon took today. He lost his hope long before he lost his life. As most of us do. Before that, however, he tried to find plans for the tower. He was obsessed with it. A great collection of maps, he told me. Stored somewhere in the halls of Grond, in a building made of steel. Halls of Grond? I could show you the way, if you want to see for yourself. Don't listen, maggot. No brains left in that old scrag. He's been down here too long. Quite the climber. Water, please. I told you, don't talk to her. Ha, that rodent from yesterday, still walking. Here comes the filth. Special honor for you today. Some of our little crackers didn't go off last night. Some dirt eater needs to crawl down the tunnels and light them up. And among all dirt eaters, don't you two look like kings? <laughs> Stop staring, Shaku. It's gonna come down on us. What's a dirt eater? That's what they call slaves, they deem useless. Come on, this way. Take a light. It's going to be dark. We like dark. Frail men can keep nasty lights. They used to have dwarves for this kind of work, but they're all gone. 
Now they send in the most dark slaves. Workers already placed the explosives. Lighting them, that's the dirty task. At the end of the tunnel, you'll find a barrel full of flammable liquid. Go down, light it up, then run for your life. Why? When you smell the fumes, you'll know why. No marks. These tunnels haven't been cleared. Take some igniters, the red stones. Crawl down to the barrels and put the red stone in. Then hurry back. Don't breathe too much. What's the frail man's job? I'll keep watch. Exes. So, you can see in the dark, hmm? Do you want to know a secret? Let's finish these tunnels first. Come this way. There are more of these cursed things. Why do we have to go? Freelman does nothing. You need to learn. I won't always be around to teach you. Can breathe now. Breathe in. <sighs> One more, come on. What's the secret? Hmm? No, forget about it. Has it food, eh? Has it nice fish hidden away? Not here. Finish the last tunnel, then meet me back upstairs at the cages. 
plug. bread for crawling through some dirt. Take it then. Nobody shall call Kuznach unjust. Back upstairs with you. There is better here. Frail man can tell us secrets now. Remember the dwarves I mentioned earlier? One of them told me something once. Those buildings up there, above the bridge, see? He had to build them. Dangerous work. But after a while, he knew where the guards watch. He'd steal red stones and hide them in a cave near the bridge. Just one stone each day, so the guards wouldn't notice. Why? Why do you think? What happened? Well, one day he slipped and fell. <laughs> That's not a nice story. Hmm, I suppose not. That's all I'm saying. But you gave her water. The stretching out, he said. The suffering. No water! Hey, little Gollum got bread. Now Gollum owes it to me. Your bread? Or are you deaf? Are you deaf, little Gollum? <laughs> See? Sharing. Look, the little Gollum shares. Oh. 
holes of Grot. Freeman said there was maps. I'm Sefut. But I suppose Frail Man is fine. Stay close to me. I can show you. That big voice with the bell, we call it the Rattler. You can hear why. That's your way in. You cannot reach it from here, but there is another way, from down below. Master won't let us work down below. He barks worse than he bites. He only hates leak spittles. Follow me to the sewers. Long live the king! Ha <laughs> snagala! Why don't you move? Come on, girl, move. Sharku, to the sewers! This thing is all yours! Ah. Good. I'm going to send you down with the Mormac flow. What's Mormac? The cage is going up to the Tower of Light. You know why we call them the Silent Stairs? When the doomed go up there in one of the cages, their screams are choked by fear. They go up choking, coming back down in these channels is the Mormac. Dark water that feeds the beasts of Mordor. When you leave the ditch, you will see the Rattler. The hoist with all the bones, remember? The Rattler will take you up to the halls of Grond, if you ever get there alive. Let me just open this for you. Good luck.
What if he watches us, the Dark Lord? What if he sees? Not tiny, Smeagol. So many things for him to watch. Mountains, enemies, spies. No, Lord is looking for the precious. He wants it, wants it. Smeagol promised to help the Lord. We must do what the Lord says. What he says, yes. But he says, save the precious. And who has the precious, eh? Baggins. Baggins. Not here, is it? The nasty, tricksy hobbit. How can we protect the precious when it's so far away?
gaze upon them. Oh, <laughs> 
They built giant monsters for the war. But where do we find the mats? A house made of steel. That one, yes. How do we get there? to cross. Needs to take the long way round.
What was that thing? Dunno. One of the Candleman spiders? Nah, it looked different. What moves the wood thing? Yes, the wood thing could help us.
Let's see. It moves. Precious makes the wood thing move. Like a skull on a string. Now see where it gets us. machine.
There will be orcs. Don't want them to spot us. <laughs> we can make this jump. My little brother yesterday. He fell off the ladder. They picked him up, sent him up to the tower. I'm sorry. Now I have to reshift. <sighs> Almost him. there. Now where do they keep mapses? Take it the other way!
like the tower. Nasty tower of light. Ha, Time to go back. Orcs will miss us. Don't want to go up the silent stairs, do we? Come. Time to leave. And there's our way back. Try to skip work. Ah, Crane was tampered with too. Snar is looking into it. Cut him open. No, wasn't us. Look at us. We're famished. Down to the lakes with him. See how he likes deserting them. <laughs> Fiery lakes. A bunch of slaves didn't report back yesterday. I want all missing numbers by the time they sound the horn. No, please. No lakes. No fire. Look how big his eyes got. We'll make it out of this stinking hole. We will. We will find a way. Sing the cards that leave here every day. Full to the brim with dead bodies. That's your way out. That's one. Uh, no running precious. It's too hard to come.
One of your men crawled up that tunnel over there. And shouldn't he be working? Special mission. Oh, I see. But then shouldn't he be back by now? He probably should. Last one, yes? Could be, could be more. <sighs> Sneak wants to sleep. Just a little further, sweet one. Just a little. Get up and drink. You're parched. I don't know. He looks like a scabbed lizard. And I've seen him climb like one. And small as a child. He will never make it to the bridge. Listen. The orcs want you dead. They want all of us dead. Let's end this, shall we? No more heat. No more ashes. What say you? My king, we have to move. What say you? No more heat. No more ashes. We cannot make that climb. This is madness. Orcs, my king, we cannot linger. You remember the red stones, yes? Here's all I need you to do. Climb up to that creaking bridge. My king! Fight, or keep eating dirt. It's your choice. But we are going. Creaking bridge! Just listen, just climb up. Up, as high as you can. There's a storage room with many barrels. One of them should have a black mark. To the creaking bridge. He's nothing but skin and bones. He can't do it. He can. You can do this. You know the drill. Take a stone, put it in the barrel, run. Get up. Let's show those vermin who I am. Take the red stones. Who's up there? Go now. Kaivad will wait on the other side of the bridge. As soon as you light your barrel, he will light his. Kaivad? Who is... Go. There is no time. Lord won't be happy, no. Dead. We have done them nothing, and they kick us, beat us like dogs. Right. 
the red stone. Is that what your silence is supposed to tell me? Not one of you has seen anything. Heard anything. Done anything. No one, except for this one. No, not us. Yes. You. <laughs> well, it wasn't there. It wasn't us. The great eye looks deep into your soul. We must tell them, precious. It's not just. Stop mumbling. Who led this conspiracy? Blame it on someone else. The Orc, let him die instead. They will know. They will know. Two detonations. Two. One on either side. We had eyes on your side. Who was on the other? He steals our bread. It's ours, and he steals it. And we are so hungry. Yes, yes we are. Nasty orc, let's starve. Did you say a name? Speak louder. But the frail man looks hungry too. He has no bread for us. And still he lives, has survived so many years. Someone must give him bread. All his friends, they must. They owe us, don't they? Yes, they do. Make him give their bread to us. You're scared. A scared little thing. Someone used you. Someone deceived you. All I want is one name. One name, and you're free. The Orc! The cruel Orc right there! It was his plan all along! Always going on about the heat. Oh, it's killing us. Oh, it's killing us. What? You 
little rat. He's lying. He's a liar. Be quiet. Open the cage. He goes up with the other ones. <laughs> no! She promised to let Smeagol live! No. I promised you'd be free. All clear. Moving on. Wait, heart. That one's on the list. What? 10, 18, 18, 20. That one's on the list. Are you certain? This one looks like waste. List says it's not. What list? The one that says not to be touched, like squealers and things the eye wants for himself. Get out then. Back to your cell. Him, you let go. We can go now. Come on. I'm not going to wait for you. Never heard of that list. The rest, move on. I will squash you, little maggot. Why did they spare us, precious? It wasn't me. Well, he's lying. He's a lying little worm. Where was it? What was it? anyway, just as I thought. Even if you'd make it into the tower, there is no way out. Unless you want to swim. Under the execution chamber, see? That must be the sewers where they make the Mormak. But it appears they won't even let you into the execution chamber. Which makes me wonder why. Sneak was not a squealer. And yet, here he is, alive. And robbed me of my most glorious end. Listen to me. If you ever betray one of my people, as much as a mere syllable of a name, we are enemies, you and I. Enemies? Not enemies. No, not us. We are not a squealer, are we? We sent the cruel orc up instead. They won't hear nothing from us. Nothing. If... If in return they give us bread every night, one juicy bread. They won't like that. Then we are enemies, you and I. Now old man can go to his corner and sleep. The Great Eye sees us. The, the Great, great eye, eye sees, us. Sees, us. sees us. The Great Eye knows us. The Great Eye knows. Move! Move, you little rats! What's 153 new subjects per week? Balrat? Not enough. See? It's simple maths. Tell your father we will double our efforts. Long story short, you need to triple your efforts. Whoever finishes first gets his bread. Everyone else? Well, none of you will be eager to meet the Candleman. Shall we then? 
Breeding! Breeding! My father has many qualities, but forbearance is not among them. And after his little puppy died in your care, shouldn't we spare him any further disappointment? Three weeks. Say please. No, you don't. Get in the cart. Impressed? Yeah. Our new infantry for the Great War. Lord's army is growing nicely. The orc is on the rise. And when the Lord has regained his weapon of great power, nothing will stop us. New recruits, follow me. Everyone else, you know what to do. Only one today. Spare me your number. I'll just call you ugly. Come. Keep your mouth shut, ugly. Don't want to spoil them all back with your spittle. See them down there in the troughs? Yeah, those are our little ones. Don't fall in. Just, yeah, don't fall in. And here are our feeders. Pull that lever. Simple enough. No. Do that with every feeder you can find, and be quick about it. When you're done, you ride back up and report to the Beastmaster. Kalusha, if I were you, I'd be running. Yes. 
Leaving the highest tower, make big armies for ourselves. Make peoples work for us, crawl before us. Back to your cells, you vermin! I've seen them. They're being bred in trenches. Thousands of them, all fed with that horrible liquid. We need to send word to us going out there. Good luck with that. Speak to me again. We speak when we want to speak. Into the tower, into the sewers, to the carts, hide in a crate, and off we goes. Tower, sewer, carts, and off through the gate. The tunnel leads out of the tower, yes? So I have heard. But even if you somehow made it to the carts, the drivers always check their deliveries. And when they find you, it's over. What you need is a cart driver. One who is in on your plan. One you can trust. Is he a cart driver? <laughs> no. I have no desire to die for you. From the execution chamber into the sewers, but how do we get there? What's this bird mean? Some birdhouse that leads to the chamber? What's he like? The sorcerer in the tower? I don't know. But I once heard a story about an unlucky deserter. He was brought into the tower. The candleman asked him some kind of riddle question. Poor man couldn't answer. 
So, the sorcerer ripped his heart out with his bare hands. <laughs> the tower is the only way. <laughs> you don't get it, do you? There is no way at all. That's an increase of almost 100 new soldiers. Yes, but don't expect any more from this lot. Look at them. I am looking at this one in particular. The little one? What about him? My father wonders what's inside this unshapely head, and now I wonder too. Do! Take him to the tower. You can't. I can't? You can't. He's useful, and I am going to keep him. Perhaps we should have a look inside your head, Beastmaster. Clearly, something vital is missing in there. Balrat, take that slave upstairs. You'll be fine. Come on, this way. do that yet, can we? Not without a friendly driver. And we see no friendly faces here. <sighs> what does it want from us, this sorcerer? Ask riddle questions, perhaps. Rip our hearts out with his claws. But we know riddles too, don't we, my precious?
Thy daughter has a lovely perfume. It reminds me of a sponge. A sponge? Soaking everything up without question or resistance. Quite unlike her mother. Rejoice, dear friend. I'm just paying compliments. You don't frighten me. But why should I want to frighten thee? I only have wished there to be friendship between us. You are not my friend. In that case, you should be frightened. Should I? Then I say we stop talking. Read. I don't care for your lofty tone. What is this? Your handwriting. Speaking of lofty tones, I found this quite illuminating. Who gave you this? Read it. I know what it says. I never forget my own words. Does our lord? Art thou trying to threaten me? I only ever wish there to be friendship between us. Consider the matter dealt with. Which matter? The bridge in the mines. And don't ever talk about my family again. Have a good night, Lieutenant. It already is. What an unexpectedly diverting conversation. I must visit thee more often, down here in the pits. Come closer. Are you dying of some illness? Come closer. to silence them. Fear, one way. Two, a knife. Cut out a tongue. Very effective. Please, it wasn't us. Why is your number on the list? You're not strong. You're not wise. Clearly, you're not wise. See, that raises questions. Was the great eye mistaken? Certainly not. So why? You weren't the only one behind that act of sabotage. And it certainly wasn't that orc who had to die for it. What's a third way to silence a question? Hmm? Well, giving an answer. Fear. Knife. Answer. Which one do you think we should apply? Fear? Kill the question, not the subject. Not a bad strategy, but that bridge buried good men. No, heads must roll. Not your head. That much has been established. Your number is on the list. And if it cannot be yours, then whose head shall it be? He wants us to give him names. Or it's a test. It only wants a name to silence questions. Give him a name of how like he. What if he knows? He can't kill us. We're on the list. Someone wants us to live. Someone very high. Yes, and who we wonders? The eye. The eye 
wants us to keep our promise. It does, doesn't it? It wants us to stay alive. So? The Mind Foreman Orc. Yes, him. He forced us. Destroy the bridge or I strike you dead, he said. He knew. That's how he survived. Kushna, why would he sabotage his own mind? Smeagol doesn't know. The Orc would always complain about the Master. Traitors will be traitors, that's what we heard him say. Now he wants Smeagol dead, but Good Master won't let him, yes? I see. He will be dealt with. Take that as your first lesson. Never leave any witnesses. Candleman wants us- Don't call me that. You can go now. Waiting for my father, aren't we all? What does he see in you? I really cannot fathom. Staunchness. That's a word I haven't heard in a while. <sighs> Say your prayer, little man. The Great Eye sees us. Go on. The Great Eye knows us. Good lad. Gollum, breathing holes, now. Go, you don't want to make him wait. This way. Don't want to make him wait. She speaks from experience. <laughs> These days, Candleman's mood swings like a pendulum. Yes, and why we want us? He hates that daughter of his. She has too many ideas. Time for you to learn how to breed our carrier birds. This is the oven. As far as I understand, it's all about finding the right temperature. Get used to the equipment. In the morning, I want to see results. But Smeagol doesn't know. He doesn't know how. Start with the oven. Each egg needs a different temperature. Which egg you choose, that's up to you. That's all I can tell you. Our old breeder would have known more. Where is it, the old breeder? Go on. Don't forget to bring my keys when you're done. There's a question that's been troubling me for years. Maybe you have an answer for me. Where does the sun go up? Does it the makes the red tongue up? stronger. East. In the east. No. No, that's not how it goes. I demand to see the lieutenant! I'm sorry. Traitor! Traitor! There's a spark! How does one make a bird? The 
They won't put our heads up on spikes for all to see. We won't let them, my dear. We will learn. Uh, Smeagol doesn't know how. You will figure it out. I have trust in you. Egg! You've got to put an egg in the nest. the same color. Do we need? 
Don't ask me. What's with that, Skeeky? Something wrong with the oven. Do you know who this is? Which king? Not him, the other one. Aenor, the last king of Gondor. Smeagol heard stories about the last king. Long time ago, in the Willowlands, 
When the river was young, tall king with bright eyes, he lived in a white city with silver towers. And in it, there was a stone like the moon. Many a hundred years he ruled. Very just. Very just. Yes, that's how it's commonly told. Tell me how it ends. Witch King took him, and he was never seen again. And he was never seen again. Show me. to do. Put it in the cage. You're the first being it has seen. It will love and serve you for the rest of its life. Love, Sneakle. How do you want to name it? Loves us, does it? We shall call it Little One. Hmm. And you? You shall serve me now. Keep your eyes peeled and your ears open. Slaves, wardens, soldiers, anyone. What they say, what they eat, what they dream, I want to know. Show no qualm or pity. You are my monster now. And monsters don't make friends. You are dismissed. You can go back to your cell. Keep your eyes peeled. I was not including me. Now go. Explain how the oh, shut up, Rush <laughs> It means lamb, the new ones. That's what we call them down here. Fresh and fat and juicy. Mm. Yes, this one looks nice. Just, just stay in your place. Over there. Please. Marvelous. Oh, what was that? Time for work. Ah, ah, run, little slaves. You there! Scrag! Get up! Wake up, sleepy work time. Leave me alone. <laughs> I 
Let's move! <laughs> Get moving! Move, Snaglob! Shut it. That's the sorcerer's little pet. And he doesn't like his pets to be spoiled, does he? Golem. Hi. What's the hold up? I'm running our stuff. Something like this, perhaps. Burska. Exactly what I'm looking for. I'll give you extra bread for that. Crash next siege, Globarok. I, I, I don't. I, I. Beasts. You go down to the beasts. No, no, please, please. You don't have to do that. Crash. You. Go with him and show him the ropes. But the candle man awaits us. Sounds like a golem problem to me. Beasts! Ugh. Follow us, Krushnik! So... Garab and Glaba cleaned out the old compound. The well of stupidity never runs dry. Wonder who reported all of this, though. Yes, yes, who? And this one? Another fool from the desert? You work up here, so I can keep an eye on both of you. That's what got me into this hole. Um, when they say beasts, what, what, what? What tag? Grashnag has a tag. On oh, this? No, 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 the tag for the cart. I had it. I always had it in my... Um, it drives carts, does it? I was delivering food to the smelters. I'm sure somebody stole it. You mustn't worry about the beasts. The Smeagol helps. Helps good Grashnag survive. Yes. Yes, a trust Smeagol. Here we are. Climb to the other side. First things first, the slaves chase the cattle. The cattle chases the slaveses. Ah, in other words, this one is going to trample me. Not if we guide him. the others. There are more! Oh, I won't survive three days down here. <laughs> no, not without us. Nolan, you are expected in the tower. Don't worry, I will take care of him. He's in the war room. The Black Queen, my favorite spider. 
For months, she waits in her den for some unlucky prey. Just waits, perfectly still. And then, you don't appreciate my allegory. The virtue of patience, yes. So much to learn from nature. However, when the trap has been set for years and still no prey in sight, we know who starts to doubt that virtue, don't we? The Lord has nothing to worry about. That is what I wish to hear. I shall leave thee to it. There you are. <laughs> Glober and Garib has climbed the silent stairs like the Master wanted. Just Master. Who does he want us to follow next? There are more urgent matters now. Come. <laughs> what matters, Master? Baggins. I know that you once spoke of him to our Lord. Describe him for me. What did he look like? Baggins. Very dark. Where well, we met, very dark. Hardly saw him. A little thief. So he was a little creature then? Like you? Small, yes, small and fat. Barely got away, didn't it? But it cheated. Wait, Elif. Go on. What else do you remember? The ugly clothes it had, like a thief. What about his face? Small bright eyes, and it had filthy brown hair. Why does Master ask? You need not worry about that. One. See? He worships you. Now it's time to put that devotion to use. Our breed is stronger and smarter than anything nature creates. See that jar hanging below me? There's a figurine hidden inside. Out of reach even for you, right? Well, not for your bird. You will make him fetch it for me. But first, a beast must learn obedience. Call him. Looks like you've bred a rebel. Well, go get him. Master asks about Baggins. Why does it ask, eh? We wonder. The little one. Then stop wondering, because this doesn't concern you.
Little one, come here. Ugh. Don't worry. It will get used to you. Smeagol would go find Baggins, he would, if he knew where Baggins was. You would? And you would promise that? Find it, yes. Go and find Baggins for the Lord. We promises. Go? The Lord will never let you leave. Trust me. Come, nice bird. Don't be scared. Hey! Master said it loves us. Love doesn't rule out fear. Come back down here. <laughs> if you cannot command, you must lure. Go and take some pieces of bread. Bird-like crunchy bread? More likely the grain inside. Go. See if it allows you to feed it. Bread. See what a little grain can do. Now, call him again. Little one. Go, go. Nice bird. Don't fly. Well done. Now remember the clay jar below me. Out of reach for both of us, point at it, and send the bird to undo the knot. Little one! No. It did it! It does what we says! Yes. They do not care who we are or what we have done. Unconditional loyalty. Be that as it may, the figurine is still out of reach. Baggins, before the elves do. You understand that, don't you? You know the elves, and they're cunning. They want to fill our Middle Earth with starlight, and when they do, they will know all we have done. All we have done. But fear not. We will find the Shire and kill every Baggins we can find, and then you and I and all of us will finally be free. We just need to be patient. Can you be patient? Patient, yes, we are. We has been. Like spiders. Very, very patient. Good. For so have I. But now it is time for you to tell me. <laughs> tell him what? About this treasure that Baggins stole from you. Treasure? What treasure? My lord. The mouth is asking for you, my lord. Again? I must go. Return the bird to his cage. You and I will talk tomorrow. Thank <laughs> you. 
exactly are we looking for? If I knew, I would have told you. It's the daughter. Wouldn't I? You search over there. Yes, mistress. What does it want? Closer. Find out what it's up to. Don't disturb his books. He keeps a system. It's spying on the master. Nothing here. I'll go look in the study. Shh. Watch. interest was on the list I heard and I would love to know why could question it hmm. keep it quiet it must know something father wants Dear father, what is it? A message from Snara, one of his searchers. New information about a place called Shire. Meet at noon. Shire. This might be something the mouse could use. Shire. Baggies. Come. Use how? Again, I tell you if I knew. Let's collect that message. You stay behind and clear this place up. Make sure we leave no traces. to them precious
the early morning. It's probably out on watch duty. What if he watches us from a window? Father's much too busy staring at books and paintings. Come on, let's move! Follow then, quick! I'm told you know where he is. He's watching over Hill 4, up on the lookout. What's she up to now? Up to the tower, find that Snara before she does. They must never find Baggins. Snara! What? Visitors! The woman! Bring her up! the older. That damn winch again. Working on it. Lifts. No time for questions. Just silence it. She wants to talk about backings, does it? Where is it? Where is it now? No! It's not! We did 
it well, protected the precious from evil men like we promised. We can't throttle them all. Then find it and hold it and be invisible again. It is time. Old Gollum is ready to vanish. Did you see that freak? No, they call him Gollum. He's been down here forever. If only he would keep him for his turn. Something for me. Shh. After the night horn blows. Can't wait. What do you think happened to that tower? That light, I mean. Old man? Old man? God! What? I think the old man's gone. This one looks cold. Hey! You can't just let him lie here like that. Be silent or you'll be next. Is he gone? Wake up, Sleepy. I am sorry. He wanted to make it count, his death. But it didn't. Didn't count for nothing in the end. Let's honor him with silence. Master's gratitude. Closer, so we can tell him what we learned about the Candleman spy and who murdered him tonight. Oh. Oh. How I hate the horn. Here they come. Which one is he? The fat one. You, number. My, your number. Ten, sixty. 92, 21. That's the one. Huh? You, come with us. Oh, why? Krashnik has done nothing wrong, we swears. Just a couple of questions. Nothing to worry about. Now it counts. One more time. One more. First, Steel key to the bird tower. Second, up, up the bird tower to the execution chamber where we wait for who? The Krishnik. And then, through the drain and to the bridge. But what if Krishnik doesn't want to go? What choice would it have? What then? Hiding great, Greshnik drives the cart, bird rings the bell, gate opens, and off we goes. Off! Off we goes! It's a good plan, my love.
is the key to the bird tower. But the Candleman keeps all the keys in his room. You're here a lot lately. What exactly does Father want from you? Names. Well, he should remember mine. Although perhaps he does not. Your army. We won't stay long. Did he call for you already? Gotham has a long list of things to do. That bird is wild. It needs more punishment. Never be too gentle with beasts or slaves. Perhaps Master wants to read a book in his library now. Nice library full of bookses. Oh, he wants needles against the pain. Do you have more names for me? I don't recall having sent for you. No names, Master. Good Master. We only wishes to help. I. I only wish to help. How many times do I have to teach you? Shut up! You may leave. All I need today is solitude and peace of mind. <laughs> Must make him go away, leave the bird. But how? His nasty daughter, perhaps? The two of them always fights. The keys with the red feather. One of them must be for the bird tower. But how can we get it? Bird. Bird must fetch the keys for us. You worm, again. Why don't you find some place to go die? Yes, precious. Let's leave nice woman alone and say nothing. Ah, oh, very well. What does father want this time? Golem doesn't know. He's a worm. Daughter should talk to master herself. Why would I? Sometimes fathers get suspicious when daughters do things behind their backs. What did he say? Do worms have ears? No, they don't. This worm must go now and look for a place to die. No, you wait right here. I'll have some questions for you later. That should keep him busy for a while. Damn, locked. Master doesn't wish to be disturbed, does he? Yes, we shall be very quiet. Such elegant draperies, Father. You always had good taste in foreign things. Or did Mother choose them? Don't speak of her. Such old fabric. I need you to be patient. Have faith in me. I'm going to make up for everything. Look at these patterns. Screaming of guilt and regret. Mother was a traitor, wasn't she? What would they say about her taste? Forgive me, that was stupid. I, I just... I worry about you, Father. Worry? Ah. Oh. Don't listen to me. No. I'd like to listen some more. You visited Snara yesterday. Why? Sometimes a girl wants to make new friends. Why can't you just trust me? I will make things right this time. Come here, just little one. Be quiet now. I will not disturb you then. No, please, stay. We barely spend time with each other anymore.
bring us that nice new gun. Fetch the key. wants to train our birds some more. You better. It's a wild one, but the black ones learn fast.
Reshnik might be going up the silent stairs already. We'll be very grateful when he saves him from that burning light. Hmm, not up here it looks like.
Bing. How do we get him out? The, the lever! Try the lever! Up there on the cage! Such a good idea. I don't like this. 
They said I killed someone. Me? I never killed a thing in my life. Nasty Oxys just makes things up. Grashnik can drive carts still, yes? So, we do have a plan then. We always has a plan. Nice riddles in the desert. Ah, riddles are silly. Oh, this broth stinks. You know what I really miss? Cinnamon. What's cinnamon? What cinnamon's precious? Cinnamon. Uh, it's a spice. I used to be a spice merchant, you know? Go over there. Yes.
I mean, that's a bacon. You know? Yes. I mean, if we really get out of here... In fact, shouldn't we first focus on this? Focus, yes. Let's focus. Smeagol saved strong desert man. What about you? Do you have family back home? Rashnik wanted to focus, didn't it? Let's focus. You're not mad at me, are you? No, just focusing. Want to see a tag or a pass? That oak must have one. Good, good. It found us. So young Hala. You're an optimist, aren't you? Get on the cart! To Yaru, Hara. Hey ah, these beasts!
Say something! <laughs> Ghastly smelly cat! So, let's say we make it out of the tower. What then? We'll still be in the middle of Mordor, surrounded by mountains full of orcs. Yes. How do we get out? There is a way. Yes, of course. Nice and dark. A tunnel. Through the mountains? Oh, and orcs don't guard it? No, no. Not orcs. It's spiders cleft. That's the name. That's where we found the tunnel. Spiders cleft? Just a name. No spiders there. And no orcs? That sounds almost too good to be true. Very good, yes. If nice desert man follows us. No orcs. Tech Sally. What? Another checkpoint. Clean back. Hold. Where are you going? Just to the, uh... Just uh, ahead, just um. <laughs> just what? To the uh, uh, because of the uh, delivery that I have from from the tower to, to the gate. Tower of Light. Is there a problem? Kreit has the mark. Kreit has the mark. See, Kreit's not going that way. But but I, I have orders to go to the gate. Orders from the tower. Yes. On to the gate, then. But without this. Because this... is going down below. Precious, don't breathe. Let him pass. Oh, this one's heavy. Boca, new crate. Oh. Corner. Have fun, Booker. This one's a backbreaker. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Synopsis. What are they doing with them?
Yes, yes, Greshnik will wait. We saved him from the night. But what if the catch is him? Remember what the Candleman said, leave no witnesses. What if they catch his the fat, slow Grashnik? If they hurt his hands with burning needles? Won't talk about spices then.
How do we get out of Mordor, it asked. Get a question, get a Grashnik.
couch down there. Perhaps it's hiding on one of them.
Understand? I just got them to believe my story. Don't ruin my chances. You must find another way. Go before anyone sees us together. Dreshnik must wait for us outside. Of course. I get the eyes, yeah. I get the eyes. Spot them first if you fail. Not a doors. You like standing around. I always thought that all meant search and capture. But you, you just stand there. Yes, I stand here. So what? Very calmly. As though no Ugh. <laughs> 
snake didn't get himself caught. Good. Yes, very good, my dear. Mustn't 
So you killed him? Never. He was our friend. Cruel light. It hurts our eyes. Your only friend, I would imagine. What was his name? Uh, Deagle. Deagle. And it was Deagle who found the no, ring? No. It was ours. It was our birthday present. It was... Another lie. <sighs> Old man must be careful. We have friends now. Strong friends, powerful friends, and they will not be nice like us. Not nice. We have not traveled these many miles to listen to your lies. <sighs> Look into the flame. Ah, no, no cruel spirit. It hurts us. Ah. We didn't kill him, my precious. He was our friend. It wasn't us, precious, not us. Oh no. found it. He couldn't resist it. How could he? And neither could you. Right there, in the flower bed. That's where it happened. Go away! Eagle is preparing his fishing rod. A good morning to catch fish. Good 
pay her another visit. Let's see if she lets us leave now. Yes, but what should we bring her? Doesn't like orcs as much, does she? Flowering reeds shine golden on the river's bank. You are on a boat. Deagle and you, going upstream. What is it? Has it found something tasty? Wait for us. Perhaps our bird has found the nice pools. Your friend is humming your favorite song for your birthday. The rocks and stones are like old bones, all bare of meat. But stream and pool, and <laughs> cool, so nice for feet. We only wish to catch a fish. We would love some fish now, wouldn't we, dear? What is it, little one? What's uh, down there? Where to now? Grashnik, it's him. Oh, haven't I been here before? He left us. Let's follow, but quiet. Oh, a tunnel. Very dark tunnel. Well, can't be too hard to find, no? Put out the light, silly man. Carries the red tongues into Auckland. Oh, curse it! She wants to find her tunnel. We told Grashnik about it, didn't we? Good. Yes, very good. Let's make sure it gets there, but hidden like wraiths. He was your only friend, Deagle. The only one who talked to you, though he did not like you much. Nobody did. Dark tunnel, my precious. Nice and dark, yes. But where? Oh, slimy little sneak. There is no tunnel. I hope the orcs ate him. Yet, he pitied you. You left Eagle and went ashore, nosing about the riverbanks. Even that day, on your birthday, you'd rather be by yourself. Why are you standing around? Bring it back! Ah, desert man stumbles right into the oxes. Great. Now what? Left or right? Left, stupid. He doesn't see them. <sighs> when in doubt, go right. They'll see him. They'll eat him. <laughs> fool, fool. <laughs> Quick now. You snufflers can't stand still, can you? You're not afraid of that ghost again, are you? I'm telling you he's back, and he's angry. Uh. I'm telling you he's back, and he's angry. Oh, 
here we go again. Another day of dead ends. usual. Now quick, more orcs are coming. That'll help. How did you find me? Not us. Orcs did. Hundreds of orcs, and they're coming our way. Not smart to carry the red tongues. Not smart at all. Hurry, tunnel is not far. There's still a stench in the air, though. Nasty, yes. Not a nice path, not at all. That's why orcs never use it. But if Desert Man knows better ways because he knows so much... No. Don't touch the walls. Uh, even your bird doesn't like this. It'll come back. Always does. Come. <sighs> well then, lead the way. This tunnel never ends. We must have walked for hours. You have been here before, haven't you? We has. Orcs won't follow us here. Nice darkness. Remember the way out. On the wall, see? Very clever, my love. Now left. But if you know the way out, why didn't you leave days ago? No time for questions. We must focus. Wait. We are lost, aren't we? Just wait here. I can't see a way to get up there. <laughs> no way, no. Not for the fat Grashnik. <laughs> she will like him, yes, my love. She will like him a lot. But 
what's wrong? Drashnik must put out the red tongues. My lantern? <laughs> no, I won't. Fumes in the air, silly Drashnik. Out, put them out now. All right. No fire. Yes. Dangerous fumes, no fire. And now I can't see a thing. You, you stay close to me, yes? <laughs> Very slow now. Left another mark here somewhere. Cabaret Fossil. Desert man, wait here for a while. Why? What is it? Shh! Path is not safe. Smeagol will scout ahead. This is it. This was the way. She's home. And there you are, miserable in solitude, yet even more so in company. Your eyes transfixed on some mucky hole. You don't see that a fish takes Steagle's hook, but you hear the splash. The fish is big and strong. He's dragged into the water, all the way to the bottom. He was drowned. No, no, that is not how he died. years it must have been down there on the bottom of the river, hidden from the world. Wait, a ring of glittering gold, like a tiny sun, brilliant and beautiful. So beautiful. Give us that, Deagle, my love, you said. It was our birthday, my love. And you wanted it. It came to us, to us, to us. How could you resist a lure that not even kings could withstand? Go. Too risky. Too risky. Rashnik just wants to go home. And perhaps he could have, if he hadn't left us behind. He had no other choice. Precious would have done the same. Yes, perhaps we would have. Please, don't wake up, Precious. 
lies full on. That's when you murdered him. Right there by the river, in the flower beds. You killed your friend. Uh, don't listen, my love. He found your precious ring, and so you strangled him. It was our birthday. Of course there were flowers. You strangled him and left his body there in the slough. No, no, not us. Baggins, Baggins has it. He stole it. Our present, our precious. It was ours, and he took it, and he lied. Oh, what have we got in our pockets, is he asks. That's a cheat. Yes, sweet one, we will squeeze its filthy little neck. Oh, man can watch. Oh, oh. <coughs> we want silence. We're done. We are. Close the door. What did he say? Too much about too little. Release him from his cell. He shouldn't be alone down here. If he gets better, we might yet learn more from him. Are you sure? Your king is right. There's little hope that he will. But once in a while, I will bet against the odds. He bit my hand. Be more careful, then. Yes, yes. Let us leave. Wise old man. We shouldn't be alone. Always so lonely, my precious. Yes, we are. You will wait. We wait, yes, nice elves. Where would we go to, eh? Was it Deagle who found the precious? Don't listen to evil sorcerers, my love. It was our birthday present, it was. And is, and we will not let them find it. The plates are empty, dear. The children stole your fruit again. Will the king see me today? Why do you have to keep asking, Mel? I crave disappointment. There's nothing else to eat. <laughs> Trickster! Trickster good! <laughs> Funny elves! Don't laugh. Man see. Man karithank anden. Pedin an hak istek anden. Tanak sa u hebitha estel nadregad. No ropes, see? Cruel elves! Let wizard hurt our eyes! It hurts! That's why we bit the nice elf. But Smeagol would be good now. Swear it. Swear not to harm anyone in these halls. We swears. Smeagol will be very good. Elves will see. Oh yes, they will see. Yes, we will. We see everything. Hear that rushing of water. That's our underground river. Don't go visit him. He'd jump with fright and drown you. And then how could we live with that? We'd be grief-stricken. Let's go up to the gardens instead. A much merrier place. Come. I just want to leave. The king won't see you. Not today, not tomorrow. Not in a hundred years. Enough. What's with that one's eyes, we wonders? Why don't they shine so terrible? A tear of death. The light of our stars has left her. She is blind. Keep your distance, understood? Mal is in there for her own good. And for us. Nice elves, beautiful eyes. Beautiful hands. The Smeagol didn't mean to bite. I'm sure you didn't. You let him out? Wizard business. Does he still bite? He swore quite emphatically not to. Come on, Smeagol. Don't scare Naldus. Good, Smeagol. The children stole Mel's food again. I'll see to it.
Lalith? What is he doing up here? Wizard business. Have an eye on him for an hour, could you please? What? Us? Estegir aniran erathasir. Talia thank Talinig anden. Ay, Henion. We must talk to the king now. Wait here and behave until we return. Do not let him drown in the river. Why don't Laman and Lalith want him at the river? Hmm? What is he doing? Butterfly! Look at that. He's like a squirrel. You're going to hurt yourself. Hmm? <coughs> Remember those dwarf prisoners and their miraculous escape? But I sealed it all off. Hey, careful! <laughs> But I sealed it all off. Down river, yes. What about up river? The mountain path? That's a long climb and a long slog through the river. I doubt he can even swim. <laughs> mountain path, S swim. What is he mumbling? Thinking of ways to murder us. Will you move anytime soon? I would if you would let me think. Take your time. You're right. He seems troubled. I saw him arriving. Do you know why he's visiting us? Must have to do with the strange... They are too strong to play our little game. What could the wizard want Stay hidden. Like Terrible eyes mustn't see us. The king seems troubled as well. Well, let's wait and see. Very little swim, he says. This way we are in the lowest down the river. Quickly, we can't wander in these the marshes anymore. The king knows what he's doing. The land might soon be swept his feet. Like the scent of lilies.
at the other end. Maybe the stream leads outside. The water is not so wild upstream. He said the little wretch had bit him and escaped him twice. That creature makes me uneasy. There seems to be no cheer in his eyes. I wonder what Gandalf hopes to learn from him. so quiet. What are they dreaming about? Well, let us listen together then.
almost outside. Ah, nasty light. Ah, stay in the shadows, my precious. See, elves can't keep a scan there. Just opens the door, click back. See, elves can't keep a scan there. Just opens the door, click back, opens the door, lets us leave. Little Gollum can't swim, eh? It blinds us! the river. Nasty light. Can't see a thing. Hear that? Bird. Good bird. It found us. It must be up there somewhere. Here. We're going back to the Elf Palace. Only path we have. Can't see no nasty elves anyway. First up, then down again. from
How does fish get up here? See what I caught, Lala? Is it a fox? A rat, I'd say. We told you we see everything. Now come up here. Smeagol didn't try to run. He just went for a swim and got lost. See that shifting wall of mist in the distance, above the last line of trees? We call it the Ring of Haze. Haze! A haze so dense you can't see five paces ahead, tricking your mind like a twisted, willful mirror until you're utterly lost. And sooner or later, no matter how hard you try or how far you walk, all paths will lead you back to us, for none can leave or enter our realm without permission. So, as it stands, we must suffer each other's company for a while. Gandalf the Grey convinced our king to let you linger in his halls, which you are now about to see. Come. Stone, precious. A whole tree made from stone. Come, Smeagol. The Elf King created that wall of haze? The King's nephew did. Gwendol. Our most splendid mind. Master of spells and riddles. But he is gone now. No biting, no stealing, no creeping. Do you understand? Smeagol swore to be very, very good. I'm touched. Aren't you touched? Very touching words. Where did he go, that master of riddles? A tragedy killed him, and all of his scholars. All but one. Tragedy? <laughs> you know, why don't you ask our blind child in the cellars? Why her? She's the one who survived. But don't let her get into your head. She cannot be trusted. A liar, is she? That's why the king locks her up. Mel is not a prisoner. She is down there so she can heal and doesn't try to leave. Why would the blind elf run off? Because hope is a treacherous thing. She believes that Gwendol is still out there. Enough tales for one day. I am thirsty and your company is tiresome. <laughs> so many elves. And all watching you. So show some myrrh. And don't touch the fish in the lake. We would like to know more, wouldn't we, my precious, about this elf who died? The one who made the hay so no one can leave. The one they call the Riddle Master. Why don't you go downstairs and ask Mel? You two deserve each other. Terrible eyes! First he bites, now he insults our eyes. Your eyes? Mine are marvelous, are they not? Look at me, like sapphires reflecting the starlight. Look at me. Yes, yes, ah, beautiful eyes. Is he blushing? Turning pale? I can't tell. <sighs> Don't be cruel. What now, precious? The blind elf in the cellars eating those things, they says. And they says, don't trust her. But elves are false. Let's go see for ourselves. Belthadren Eganen and Mimladris. 
Goveneth and Elrond Bola Amon. Eno. Wizards spitting smoke like dragons. What is it? What is it, precious, eh? What is it? Old Toby, from the Shire. Want to try? Shire? Baggins is from the Shire? Yes. Bilbo Baggins used to live there. As he was foolish enough to tell you. <laughs> Cruel wizard tried to poison us! <laughs> Be quiet. I didn't mean to scare you tonight. None of us could ever imagine the horrors you must have endured. Least of all these idle folk. I hope you don't bear any grudges. Forgiven, yes, and forgotten. Gracious wizard, gracious Smeagol. No grudges, no grudges. Hmm. Now, me if we're Vinichiana Ehid, San Ivanas Volodren. We heard you went on quite an adventure outside. Yes, very funny elves, very tricksy. Now, don't blame us, we just sat here and talked. They say so. Yes, twisty elves, but what's our foe's foe? Our friend? Perhaps. But let us be good, my dear. Good as fish. Turn around. You're the prisoner, the one who talks funny. No, he doesn't. And smells funny. What was your name? Smeagol. Smeagol. <laughs> odd name. She's odd. So everyone keeps telling me. A deal, then. We leave each other alone, and we shall relish our solitude and noble oddity. What say you? Deal! She's odd, and we don't like her. It was my pleasure, Smeagol. We don't talk funny. Blind one. He doesn't talk to us anymore. Maybe there's another way in. Back again. Looks like we need to watch you more closely next time. Smeagol just wanted to wash the dirt away in the river. Uh, to which, I believe, we forbade you to go.
Ah, there you have it. Next time I'll step on you and that's it. Careful, Precious. Don't trust her. Go back to your web, sister. You don't visit me, I visit you. What's this? Why do I still hear you? It would never talk to us. Find another way, he says. Be very nice and friendly. <laughs> oh. oh! You scared me. What is it, Precious? Is it tasty? You're hungry, hmm? Nice, friendly elves letting Sneagle walk their beautiful halls. And why can't the blind one walk free like us, sweet wonders? Yes, poor girl. She was part of Gwendol's circle. The Riddle Master. Our most brilliant mind. He and his scholars tried to protect our realm with spells, but the Mirkwood devoured them all. Mel was the only one who returned. Blinded and confused, but alive. Whatever darkness touched her, she did not know or would not tell. She blamed herself for the fate of her friends. The king himself bound her to the cave, secured it with a spell to seal away the darkness. Maybe you can take her food sometimes. The children keep stealing her meals. Take whatever you like, just put it on the table by her window. But don't talk to her. Yes, it's not the best wine. Please don't take her too much of that. Just come back if you change your mind. Blind elf, Smiggle brought food. It's not hungry, perhaps. Nice food, yes, and news. We has news. News about what? News about the Riddle Master. Yes, the one they thought dead, but who's not? Though perhaps the blind elf doesn't want to know. No, she doesn't, does she? Let's leave her alone, my dear, not to plague her with boring tales. Who? Who saw Gwento? Did it say something? Who saw Gwento? Oh, they wouldn't tell Good Smeagol, would they? The very nice elves. They wouldn't tell us their names. No, not us. But we hears, we hears them whisper. The Riddle Master has been seen, yes, out in the woods. Beyond the terrible haze, if one can trust the elves. Beyond? Good Smeagol would help, of course he would. Help the poor blind elf. But we cannot leave through the mist. The elves said so. Difficult, yes. And if there were a way through the haze, then what would you do? Mm, if we could, my love. Fair question. If there was a way, of course, yes, of course, then we could help her find her friend, the Riddle Master. <laughs> Thank you for the wine, Smeagol. What is he doing? Watching, thinking, scheming, or just biting his nails. It's hard to tell. Smeagol, come down. It's time for your fish. Nice fish, nice elves, nice Smeagol. Get something for Mel while you're there. Shell on my table. 
puts it in your mouth. The snail house? Why? You still haven't found the missing bell. Or have you? Smeagol tried. No silver bell. Not anywhere. You haven't looked in the king's chambers like I told you. Too many eyes. Cruel, shining eyes. Always watching. Good for them. Take the shell. Don't worry, there's only water inside. The silver bell. It breaks the curse that keeps her in the dark. You must always ask three times, yes? A custom of your tribe, the people of the Sizzling Hills. We're not from Sizzling Hills. There's one bell missing in the door. Put it back in place and the spell is broken. And the blind one can leave? You help me, I help you, as promised. Why does Smeagol need to drink? They warned you about me, didn't they? I must know that you trust me. Drink. It's merely water. Any news about him? The Riddle Master? <laughs> Only rumors, fleeting words. Ah, there. We drank it. Well done. The water connects us now. Connects us? If I made no mistake, let's give it a try. Only water, it said. It's merely water. And mere water it was. Now, go up to the pond with the stone tree. Wait there and listen for my voice. Her voice? Man again. What are you two hatching? Just talking. Well, be careful with her. What does it mean, the water connects us? It's tricking us. To the pond, it says. Listen for my voice. What new elvish trick is this? Den och Gabir Ungaror under fält bändas nu. Hör i kyn. Den nata lutar i latten är nära. So, I'm hearing you and Mel are becoming friendly. That's good. All her friends are gone, so maybe she will free us from your company as well. Her friends are dead because of her? Well, she will tell a different tale, of course. But ask Gwendol how he feels about Mel today. The Riddle Master. But the Elf said he's dead, and all of his friends, too. So there you have it. is a cave with hundreds, with hundreds of lights. We call it the Glittering Grotto. Can you see it? The Queen once dreamed of a water road full of stars, connecting waterfalls with her chambers. She did not live to see it through. However, the grotto still leads right to the King's doorsteps. Oh, the elves won't let us go up there. So many rules. But we don't care about rules, do we? I will be there with you in the water. There's going to be a lot of water. <laughs> Talking to yourself again? Yes, yes, to ourselves. Good elf, very smart. 
he has become much too polite. In Guayafi Myrdain and Region, Agorel in Newline, the inner sleeve him the stangen and night ebech. Rista for the your line a wheel nanech, Maki Athena Fanon. Who is Dan and this name? And your Rathragu Aethro Presto, Kim Feriaramla, the Hadenathan Edelin, Amen in Bayer Alfarin Anui. Where is Gandalf? Still out in the woods with the king. Old trees talk slowly. <laughs> the king's not in his rooms now. That's our chance to find the bell. Oh, not you again. <laughs> Would long be gone if elves let us leave. <laughs> we don't like this plan, do we? What if the elves are right? What if she's evil? But what's evil to them may not be evil to us. Mustn't see us, precious. Get him under order. Just to ring the bells? Ring the bells. want her to help. We want her gone. <laughs> nah, we're in the second tower. You shouldn't be. Gwendol's chambers are on the opposite side. Gwendol's chambers are somewhere behind the left tower.
the old riddle game. Let's start with a simple one. It needs at least two to hold me. Strange, for nothing do I weigh. Nothing do I weigh. Nothing do I... <laughs> no. Feather, nothing. No second tries. Those are the ancient rules. <laughs> we hate her! Get used to it. I, I never live. a waste of time without Gwendol's shell. <gasps> Wait! Just yet, this is not a friendly door. What's a friendly door, my precious? A friendly door doesn't hurt unwelcome guests. An unfriendly one. Not that welcoming. A door can hurt us. There should be a candle next to the door. Blow it. Candle is out already. Blow. Gwendol's inane ideas. Door is friendly now? Only one way to find out. Where, where, where? where? Upstairs. Yeah. 
Elves made of wood. Is he the riddle master? The sculpture? Yes, that's his likeness. Walk close to it. He never got around to finishing it. not dead, sleeps in cozy waterbed, got a helmet yet no head, shiny tiny stone instead. A nice shell, an odd one, perhaps Mel knows more. Master's chambers. Nasty. Scratchy, Scratchy little word. word. How smoothly it rolls off your tongue. I can show you around if you like. It's strange in here. Don't be afraid. Let me guide you. Look for a big shell from the river. It must be hidden somewhere amid Gwendol's chaos. We already found a shell. Oh, good. But how does a shell help us get to the king? The shell doesn't, but what's inside it might. What's inside a shell? Air. The elf is mocking us. Climb up to the glittering grotto, then I can show you. Riddle Master was Mel's friend. The only one I had. We used to invent new spells together. Like the haze. Yes, like the haze. Like the haze. Unite air and water. That was the dream he shared. One day I would float down the river all the way to the sea. And he would be in the mists above me. What happened? We failed. Does the king know about Gwendol? That he's alive? The king doesn't talk to us. You would not lie to me, would you? <laughs> we are helping her, aren't we? Nice elves always judging Hertius, calling us names, but Smeagol bears it. What would he gain from finding nasty Riddle Master? Gwendol. Careful. You can say his name. This one's nasty. Creek that rushes along the western borders of our realm. That is where we created the Ring of Haze, the Riddle Master, his scholar. So tell me, 
Who is Deagle? Who is Deagle? Deagle? You can tell you me. Can tell me. You can trust me. That is where we created the Ring of Haze, the Riddle Master, his scholars, and I. There at the creek, beyond an old bell tower, we closed the final breach, and I lost the light of my eyes. However, Gwendol left a spell to open it again. For if, at any time, it might please us to leave unnoticed. How it pleases me now. How does it know about... Oh, there is a piece and piece of was a question here. Guys, the wizard was lying with swears. Drowned it, drowned it in the river. Deagle was long times ago. Was he your friend? Our only friend, but Smeagol doesn't remember his face anymore. I am so sorry. Oh, what pleases me now? Help me. And this breach? Smeagol has good sharp eyes. Poor elf, always alone in the dark, but Smeagol cares. That is nice, and I shall thank you. This breach? Yes, I can open it, Smeagol, but I will need your eyes. I trust you. Smeagol has good sharp eyes. Poor elf, always alone in the dark, but Smeagol cares. That is nice of you. I shall thank you. The glitter grotto, I hear. Well done. Now take Gwendol's shell and put it under your tongue. You will breathe underwater like a fish. <laughs> but fish doesn't breathe. Alive without breath, as cold as death. Only a children's song. Breathe like a fish. So you know, you have to feel so Never heard he ever drinking. Ever drink. I didn't know. Never, never drinking. Never Hadn't had that one in a while. You should be close now.
and get it out, out of our head. First, we must get out of these rooms. We found it. See? I believed in you. You're like Beren, stealing the gem from the enemy's crown. Though I'm no Luthien and Beren had a pleasant voice. Come back down here. What's going on? What's going on? Therefore, I tell you, I don't know. And what I don't know, I cannot tell. I know you well enough to doubt that, my old friend. My king, if you knew me well enough, you would never doubt me. We can talk candidly now. No more eluding my questions. I must know. And I'm telling you that I cannot tell you what I don't know. <laughs> Another excuse. I call it a fact. What? <laughs> so then you would not mind if I had that creature drowned in the river? I would. Where is he? And I need you to trust me. Maybe I would, if you'd stop being vague. Aragorn, the greatest hunter of all, so they say, travels a thousand miles to catch a creature that may best be described as odd. A creature the Dark Lord himself has touched and tortured. Oh, don't act surprised, my friend. I sensed his craving in him, his obsession. And now... Gandalf the Grey makes his rare visit to my realm. Now I wonder why. What secret does this creature hold? What knowledge? I have long had dreams. Dreams that warn me of a weapon. One that the Dark Lord craves. Ah. 
Your silence tells me that I'm right. I would hide it in my vault, Gandalf. Behind my magic doors. Keep it safe. Keep what safe? Don't treat me like one of your dwarf friends. I would never use it, of course. Whatever it is. Just keep it. Keep it hidden. Keep what hidden? Do you doubt our strength? My borders are safer now than those of Lorien. Your haze, you mean? Yes. I felt its powers when I entered. Beg your pardon, my king, but your realm is an island in the darkness, and your crown is made of leaves. It was here in Mirkwood where it took shape again. Sauron's shadow. Don't utter his name. Oh, I shall utter it freely now. Sauron, the Dark Lord, growing in power right on your doorstep. And you didn't see. The White Council freed Mirkwood from the Necromancer. Not King Thranduil and his people. The White Council. It was my people who bled thousands of years ago on the hills of the Moranon. You don't teach it. Dow eyes. loose somewhere on the grounds find him but do him no harm yes my king Thank you. 
He's crossing the river! Wait! He's too far ahead. We have to alert the others. There's only one path he can take. And that leads back inside. It's me. It's just me. <laughs> the king, he knows. He, he knows. Stop, stop, stop. Hissing. Where are you? Talk to me. Precious. We're outside, out in some terrible garden. Garden? What garden? garden? No, that's wrong. We can't go back. Elves are looking for us. Fierce elves with cruel eyes. Shh. Let me think. Do you see the old watchtower? Yes. There's a path on the other side going downhill. Follow it.
faces. There are faces. They stare at us. Don't be scared. Be scared. They won't harm you. <sighs> this is the power of our princess, the departed member of our king's family. Each candle burns for a soul that is left. Never to return. <sighs> Do me a favor, will you? Gwendy. They must have put his face up there, too. Do you see it? No. Don't look at us. Go sleep. Please. Please. Can you try? Ah, this face looks like the one in the Riddle Master's rooms. You found him. That's good. Now put, now put out, out the light. Why us? Smeagol doesn't want to be here. But Smeagol has promised to help, hasn't he? Yes, he has. These lights belong to the dead, and Gwendol is alive. Is he not? Smeagol always helps. Yes, put out nasty lights for Mel. Promised. Thank you. Thank you. I know this has been scary. No, Spiegel does not mind. We're at the gate. More elves down there. Follow the street path. <laughs> Inside. Don't celebrate yet. They're already looking for you. For you.
Yes! Come to the door. I know a secret path. right here tried to open my door are you sure it was him unless a squirrel called himself my precious where'd he go let me think did i see him oh alas i am blind down to the river shh keep your head down they're gone lead me down to the river but that's where the elves went i said i know a secret path never said it would be easy Take our hand. Don't touch me. I can follow your breath. How does it move, the blind one? How does it know where to put its feet? Moss. They whisper me the way. The elves are mocking us again. I'm sorry. It's a bad habit. Too. He's a good swimmer. Shh, quiet. To the waterfall. Can you hear it? We hear the river. Just go down, further down. Careful. Flow is not even. Shh, can't go down there. Waterfall ahead. That's the one. <laughs> What's it doing? Listening to the river. She speaks to the river. Ah, he still remembers me. That's great. Who? Oh. Go ahead to the waterfall. I'll be right behind you. They're already there. No path there. Can't go up the water now, can we? Not up, no. <laughs> What's it doing? Shh. Inside. The elf is doing witchcraft. Hold your breath. The river can be fickle. But for now, he's willing to let us pass. Milk touches the water and the water goes away. Good, good. It didn't tumble. The elf with pale eyes. How does it move so well? We wonders. The stones guide me. The wind, the water, the moss. Love the moss. And still, there is a little hint of light, fleeting like old memories. Has it nice memories? I'd have to go back a long time for that. Spiegel, too. Very long time. Uh, 
Meagle, my friend. We've made it. Friend. Come. Let us follow the sun. The elves won't get anything from him. Torture barely made him talk. And the elves have no heart for torture. Thy confidence could be mistimed, dear friend. The old Greybeard has entered the woodland realm no more than two weeks ago. The wizard? How do you know? <laughs> they may call us the mouth of Sauron, but we do have eyes and ears. The Grey Beggar might suspect something. Join Marhok's men in Dol Guldur. Free the creature. Bring it back. Kill it, if need be. This is a death sentence. Only if one dies. We'll strike in Gondor as well. Provide a diversion. An open attack? There will be war. It's too soon. Let the enemy find what our Lord desires, and the war will end too soon as well. Thy daughter will join thee. Seize this opportunity. All I wish for thee is to redeem thyself. I will. Filthy woods, very selflessly, yes. Take our hand. Who did you say, Sir Gwendol? <laughs> Grimaces are wasted on me, you know. Yes, some elf. Some elf. Some elf did. All look the same to us. Poor elf. No shining eyes. Take Smeagol's hand. What's this? Precious? Eh? What is it? Are you looking at my ring? Is it nice? Yes? Is it powerful? Is it precious? Yes. It's not a magic ring, but Gwendol made it for me. I had tried to make him one just like it. Not my best work. He never quite fit, so he wore it on a chain around his neck. Uh, careful here, lots of nasty rootsies. Ask us, ask us. Lifting chokes me, sharing breaks me. <laughs> Secret! Had that on the tip of your tongue already, didn't you? I can't trust the elf. Remember the crash leg? He left us. He did, but this time we'll be clever. The blind one opens the haze for us and then... Did you find some? It's orange or yellow. Your language is not very nuanced. 
This one's orange. Ah, and it stinks. Be cautious. The truthlings will lull your thoughts. Let tongue speak true whether you like it or not. Take a bite of Laire. However, like this. Then their spell is gone. And so is most of their marvel. So the real question is, do you trust me? <laughs> it's a trick, my precious. How could it be a trick? I am giving you a choice. Don't want strange Laero. Think. The elf could ask us anything. Anything. See, if we eat, then thou knows too. She'll know all our thoughts and plans. Oh? And what if it asks how Smeagol wants to break her little neck? Mel trusts us. She wouldn't ask that. Are you ready? Not eating it. Good choice. Come on, I want to listen to them. No bridge here. I know these waters. Let me calm them down a little. Go ahead. She's willing to let us cross. Now comes angry rivers. One more thing. Time indeed. You won't remember anything you told me. What did it say, my precious? Truthlings to know the truth. You're hissing. When you lie, you always start hissing. Schmiegel doesn't hiss. a bell tower in the old days. We should be safe here for a while. We are far from the king's halls now. I would love to hear the bells. Let's get inside. We can spend the night here. <laughs> There we go. Pity we can't hear the bells high up in the tower. Can you see the moon? Don't fear. 
The white face will not find her. But I wish to be found. What's her shape now? Lil must be hungry. Perhaps could sneak or find some eggs. Is it waxing? It can't be full yet. <laughs> no. No nice moon. Spiegel goes and finds tasty things for Mel. Don't stay too long. The woods can be fickle. The bells once honored those we lost. Long ago in the Battle of De Gaulle. Elves and men marched against the Dark Lord together. So few of us were destined to return. <laughs> it mustn't talk about him! said. A little strange. Yes, perhaps we are. That's quite all right. likes mushrooms, maybe. What does Mel eat, precious? Like him. Keep looking, precious. Like it. She eats it, doesn't she, the wicked elf woman? Lures us into nasty glowworms. <coughs> For Mel. Enough food for one night. Maybe we find more. What has it asked us, eh? We want to know. What did Sneagle tell her? But it doesn't matter because tomorrow, after she opens the breach for us through treacherous haze, what then? Break her nasty little neck. Look, look! What if I could? Nice fat moth. Yes, nice. Careful, still flatters. Don't kill her. They give me guidance in the dark. <laughs> Melly's not nice. Smeagol looked everywhere. His hand stinks of leaves. God, they stinks. You can stop worrying, you know. 
I didn't ask you anything in that truthling cave. I'm not worried, no. Smeagol has nothing to hide. Shh. There's something up there. We know that voice. See who's back? Nice bird. Has it looked for help? I don't like the sound of this one. It speaks a strange tongue. Because we taught him, didn't we, my precious? Shh. That do not have the worth. She scared him. There is something foul about that bird. Where is foul? We will go sleep inside. The elf can stay and watch the moon. <sighs> All right.
If they stopped following... How, how did Mel get up here? There was a voice in the air. A voice guided me. I think it was Gwendol. In fact, I'm sure of it. Gwendol? I believe somehow he saw me. Protected me. Come, the gate is not far now. Didn't protect us? Mm, perhaps it was the Wraiths playing tricks on Mel. It was him. I'm sure of it. What's the name of these, my precious? Just plants. Now, a glade opens before her. Large tree in the middle. Yes. We are here. The border of our realm. <laughs> Where's the breach? How do we open it? I don't know yet. We knows a breach. That was her words. And I never said I knew how to open it. We only ever tried to close it. We? There were eight of us. Gwendol was our teacher and mentor. This is where I last saw them. Saw anything, for that matter. Right here he stood, at the tree. And then he was gone. And the others? Dead, or worse. And I was blind. Let me think. Gwendol stood here. I was back at the river. The others stood at the six runestones. Each runestone guards one part of the spell. Air, water, circle, binding, mirror, deceit. <sighs> but they had to be called in the right order. If I could only remember who stood at which stone. Why does it bring us here if it can't remember most important things? Shh. What is it? The air. It still carries their voices. Don't you hear them? Voices? Close your eyes. Ghosts? Not ghosts. Memories. Echoes. This place still remembers my friends. I can't listen to them. I'm too afraid of what I might hear, but the echoes might lead us. How can whispers lead us? Ignore birds, river and flowers. Just listen. Breathe in the sense. Can you see them? Yes. I must know what happened to the six that stood at the stones. Look around. Follow them. Tell me what you see. This stick has elvish marks on it. That must be Eristor's staff. It's broken. He must have fled that way before the chaos devoured him. Where does the scent lead you? Is this one of the stones where the elf stood? If you're standing where I think you are, then yes. Any idea? The elf with the staff must have fled from this stone. So this is where Eristor stood? Yes, I think that's right. Three were men and three were maidens. Eristor, Kellen and Dondofer. Prian, Kethel and Turian. Eristor, Kellen, Dondofer, Prian, Kethel, Turian. If I could remember how it all happened, then maybe I'd remember the order of the spell. What happened here? Oh, well... We had almost done it. A haze that would forever hide our realm from the eyes of the Mirkwood. But there was one last breach left for us to close, here, at the Enchanted River. And so we did. We all had our part to play. Mine was to calm the river and win her over. But I didn't trust the water. I warned Gwynville, but he wouldn't listen. We closed the breach, but then... All I remember is a glaring light. Fair like silk, but unrelenting. When I woke up, there was only darkness and silence. I called their names, called Gwendol, but there was nothing. So you see, 
I need to find Gwendol. I must. I must know which of my friends stood at which stone. Look around. The smallest thing might help us. Perhaps there's something in the trees. Hmm. Could be. Our turn. Cannot be seen, cannot be felt, cannot be heard. Dark. Dark! Got that one. Even Baggins knew that. Are you hungry? Is he a crow? I never trusted crows. Not a crow? No! Good bird! Found anything? Perhaps one of them was drowned in the lake. Perhaps... Be careful! One second. Must be Eristor stuff. a green road so slowly she is sleepy road is holy caterpillar with full belly on a leaf <laughs> yes yes all right that one was too easy out here in the woods <laughs> looks like one of them jumped into the water here it must have been their last hope but the river is treacherous Now focus. Can you follow their echoes? <laughs> More broken things. Looks like a knife. Most of us carried one that day. Don't just guess, precious. Look around. Was that a word? The riddle needs words. Uh, let us think. Time is running out. What? What has it got in its pocketses? What do I have in my pocketses? That's not a riddle. No, it's not, is it? Baggins cheated. Ugh, enough riddles for one day. Restor, Donbefer, Prien, Turien, Kelon, and Cathal. Yes. I think that's where they all stood. Quest, Nen, Gwyleth, Kendril, Ringhorn, Luth. Quest, Nen, Gwyleth, Kendril, Ringhorn, Luth. Self deceit. It's friendly, this breach door. I hope so. But the woods beyond, they are not. 
Stay close. You will get lost without me. Let me rest here for a while. <laughs> tired it looks, yes. Tired and spent. Of course, we can wait. Pity I don't have my eyes now. We can be her eyes. Picture beautiful gardens for her. Then she will see. Yes, she will see. Not now. No time for rest. Not now. Yes, now. Now, poor blind, lonely elf. We shall be her eyes. I am ready. But it's not a nice place. Not at all. Not for us. No, but the elf would love it. Let me be the judge of that. Is the moon shining now? The white face. It's always watching. Not safe here in the light. Are you starting with that again? I should have looked at it more often, and so should you. Nice moon, yes. Blind elf can picture it in her mind. What about the birds? Tell me about them. Birds, yes, high up in the trees, watching, always watching. Blackbirds, just sitting and watching, all silent. The silent ones I don't trust. Perhaps we should go now. Keep going. This used to be such a beautiful place. Moths. The air is full of moths fluttering around the flowers. That's nice. This place is not how I remembered it. Come now. Many nice places on the other side. Wait. You mentioned flowers. You didn't picture those. Irises. The entire glade used to be overgrown with them. They must be in full bloom now. Yellow ones, yes. But not very nice. All withered. Not many. Irises. The time is not spent. Iris, Iris has no sense. Tico's riddle. We remembers. I remember. Remember what? <sighs> what if... What if... Mel doesn't need the riddle master anymore? Maybe riddle master is gone. Forever. I heard his voice. A ghost, perhaps. A voice in the wind. But Smeagol is here now. So lucky she met Smeagol. We can describe gardens to her. Gardens with flowers. Look! There was irises everywhere. Yellow ones, like here. And there. Light Deagle and looked up into the sky. Nothing! Nothing! You are mad. He tried to steal it. Tried to get away with our precious. Uh, Mel must believe us. She believes us, yes. No. No. Mel! 
It's gone. The breach is gone. You, you ruined it. We would have been free. You're weak. You're weak. You're weak. Mel! She doesn't hear you. Nobody hears you. You're alone. <laughs> Go away. All alone. It was you. You killed Deagle. You did it. You did. You killed him. Leave me alone. You did it all by yourself. You throttled him. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> Treasure. Precious? My precious? Mel? Mel? This can't be the other side. No, it's not. <laughs> Finally. We told you he wouldn't get far. Please. Spiegel is good now. Our king has a few questions for you. And wouldn't some answers be sweet? Without me, eyes are marbles. No darkness they see. <gasps> no. Nothing. No voices. Hello, Smeagol. So well behaved lately. How can I pester you now without torturing my conscience? Have the elves found her? No, I'm afraid not. I don't think there is much hope she's coming back. Face it, she used you. And then she left you behind. We warned you to keep your distance. Anyway, Neldis has asked for you. She's upstairs with her lanterns. Be so kind and pay her a visit. Mm. Time is not spent. Iris has no scent. At nothing I can marvel without you. Hello, nice elf. Very pretty. Am I not? It's midsummer day. We must all look our most beautiful tonight. Even you. I shall make you a wreath of laurels. Oh, you will hate it. What's she doing? Preparing lanterns for tonight. What's tonight? Tonight is midsummer night. We will all be out in the woods celebrating. Not you, perhaps. We will see. Is there something I can do for you? If the Riddle Master was alive. Ah, here we go again. I wish he were, I truly do, but I fear it was just one of Mel's dreams. He is gone, and now she is too. Nice, nice lanterns, but 
two of them aren't shining. Oh, yes. The children love to take my light stones up to the gardens to play. Would you not help me find them? They look like shining marbles, big as your eyes. Smeagol can help. Yes, I can find strange lights. Someone's in a good mood for a change. needs more time. I truly think he's getting better. <laughs> Quiet! Yesterday he collected shells from the river for Dalvon, and today he's helping Nelvis with her lights. The honorable deeds of Smeagol. I do not care if he starts writing poetry. If kindness will not help, we must find different measures. I must know what he told Gandalf. A swarm of truthlings has been visiting your gardens lately. Good. Good. Whatever it takes. I don't like this plan. I know. Truthlings, yes. But Mel taught us how to trick them. Lionel, dwarf beard rootsies. That's what we need. Do they? What about? The precious, of course. The precious. We want it. We want it. We want it. No. No, we hate it. I hate it. How are you, Smeagol? So far from home among strange folk like us? No relatives? No one to talk to? You can talk to us, you know. Like friends. Friends trust each other. Yes. Friends do not play nasty tricks. Yes. Like that wizard. He was a very tricky old man. But the king saw right through him and sent him away. We can protect you from men like him. But see, to do so, we must know what he asked you. He asked about our birthday. Your birthday? And about flowers, irises of the Willowlands where Smeagol lived when he was young. Nothing else? Oh, I swear. Good elves. They are such nice friends. <sighs> Very well, then. Neldis tells us that you help her with her lanterns. That's very thoughtful of you. You know, I saw the children play with one of them in the King's Garden. Oh, did you? I had to shoo them from the old tower again. I'm almost sure they left the light up there. You know, we can take you there if you'd like. Help you find it. Nice friends. Yes, yes, they will lead the way. Good Smeagol will follow. Excellent. Let's go. Because our feasts are not for strangers, and because your breath would gag our singers. That's just two of the many reasons why you're not invited. Keep your voice down. This is a solemn place. Oh. 
Up there, in the tower, where the beetles hum their peaceful song. That's where the children left the light? Yes, I believe so. Now it's your turn. We will wait here. Can you hear us? I feel dizzy. Uh, now tell us, what did the wizard ask you about? Oh, one moment. Beetles are humming so loud. What are you... No, wait! Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. They know and don't tell us. They must tell us. Mel. Melia still. Don't know where she is. She must be dead by now. All blind and alone. Poor girl. But so ill-mannered. Never liked her. But now I miss her. The Riggle Master. Now elves must tell us all they know. Gwendol. Gwendol. He knew Mel quite well. Did you know? Everyone knew. It wasn't much of a secret. Ah. Well, that explains it. I visited him once. Gwendol. He didn't know that I had entered. He was talking to his mirror. His notorious vanity, I thought. But then I heard another voice reply. From beyond the mirror, I'm quite certain it was Mel. Sounding very kind for once. So I left. So as not to disturb them. But Mirror, eh? The one in the Riddle Master's rooms. Good elves! They talk so very honestly today. What are you doing? Smiggle will have a look in the mirror. Mirror, mirror. Is this Mel? It is Mel. Faces. 
More rooms. It's Mel. Mel with dark eyes. What is this? through the haze, but they are dark dreams now. I need you here. The enemy has come. Find me. Come to caress Mindon. They can't cross the haze yet, but I need to seal the gate. Oh, let me think. I cannot think. The picture, the one we carved into the bark where we first met, remember? remember. That shall be the password for the gate. Find me. Come to the source. It will be dangerous. But I am lost without you. Lost without you. What gate? Does it know where Mel is? Who are you? Who a name again. Uh, uh, uh. he said, and that he's very unsafe. Not a good friend. Wants to lure Mel to dangerous places. You found them. Thank you, Smeagol. Now my circle will be complete. Circle? A ring of protection for tonight's feast. Like the haze. If you will, but far less ambitious. A place where Mel and Riddlemaster first met. The cook knows about it, yes? You don't give up, do you? I do remember that night, the big oak in the King's Grove. It was the first time Mel was invited to one of the gatherings. Such an untamed child she was. No patience, no manners. Watch the King's Grove. Our feast will be there tonight. I could take you with me if you promise to behave. Oh, we promises. Yes, yes, I promise. Well then, come to me whenever you're ready to leave. And with that, my circle is complete. Now nothing. That's all you had to do. You are getting better, I see, and a breath of fresh air will not hurt you either. I shall take you to the tree tonight, if that is still your wish. Come to me whenever you are ready. She will take us to the tree. Help pack the lanterns. not far south of here in the mountains. Abandoned hundreds of years ago. That is all I can tell you about it. Now, who told you about Karas Mindon? Just elves telling stories. I like to hear stories. Go ahead. I already warned the others about you. I will stay here and put up our lanterns. Big 
tree. That must be where Mel and Riddle Master carved their hidden picture. What is Gollum doing here? Neldis invited him. Be nice. Here he comes. Climb the tree. Yes, yes. But the friendly elves are in the way. I think it will be better if we all stay here on the ground. Don't you? Where we can all keep an eye on each other. Just in case. Hmm. A competition. A competition? If Smiggle wins, they must let him climb the tree. <laughs> But these ones don't like riddles, do they? How about a game of words? You say a word, then I say a new word that starts with the final sound from your word, and then we keep going round until it's your turn again. But here's the trick. No word can come up twice, and no word can end with the same sound as the beginning of the previous word. That's easy. Fish. Shell. Love. V visible. Aha, you lose. No, why? Visible? Love? No word can end with the same sound as the beginning of the previous word. Ah, oh, not fair. It tells the rules too fast. <sighs> Once more, then, whatever sends you on your way. Ten seconds to answer. If you survive three rounds, you win. Fish! We already had fish. New game. It counts. Fish, fish! Well, then, shell. Again. Lamb. Gibberish. Shamrock. Shard. No, wrong sound. You lost again. No. I'm sorry. You lost. The tree is ours. <laughs> they cheated. <sighs> Come on, Drift. What's with him tonight? Perhaps someone friendly could help. Thirst Egelrin, Hantiranth, Ki Ol Amer, Boy Banad Bad Anandan. The cook might help us. She invited us here, didn't she? <laughs> Better let Smeagol do the talking. What's wrong? Not your kind of music. Smeagol is not welcome. He's ugly and a liar and, and a sneak. Did someone say that? Smeagol just wanted to sit in the tree and watch the lights. Everyone always hates him. Always. Always. <sighs> Children, let me go talk to them. Come, walk with me. You are strange, Smeagol. And a liar. But for the sake of it, I will help you once more. Be just a little bit nice to our guest, will you? We just had a little fun. That is nice. Now have a little less. Yes, yes. Come on then. Climb our tree, but stay in sight. Silly game, they cheated. Why don't you join us, Neldis? We haven't seen you all evening. Yes, it is midsummer night. Come and drink with us. Very well, why not? And now, Riddle Master said he carved a picture into the tree. And that's what we need to enter his castle in the mountains.
Tire Ithi. Asmiagol a Ithi. Ortho Uth. Asmiagol a Ithi. Me penal. A key inud u pol ethor. I'm a red in valid. A threat ethor.
is it? What is it? It's a deer. Deer with horns. We need the elvish word. What's the elvish word for deer? We can ask the elves later. Perhaps we seize the mountains from up here. sent us to find God. And now I send you to kill that elf! Now! I should have bred you with more wood. Come on, maggot! Now, short raid across the border, he said. That bird led us straight into Elfland. Find the golem and bring it to the mountains. That's what the Candleman ordered. Ordered and left. That's not our leader. We're going back to the mines. Yeah? Good luck crossing that foul haze again without the blind one. Find that golem! Dead or alive, but find him! The blind one! <laughs> This one's breathing. He's dying. Now you're not even a Yakuza. Or we can give him some very cursed medicine. Yet, where's your golem freak? You heard me. Where is the freak? <coughs> right in front of me. Yeah, waste of time. Yeah. The demons never talk. No sign from my hooks, mate. The more elves are coming. Yeah. How many? I can't tell. Only barely saw one. They're in the trees. Morhawk climbed one, and the elves shot him down. <laughs> we retreat. Not without the freak. Are you dead? Elves are coming! Somebody find me that golem already! Search the trees! We don't serve you or some man from Gondor! We obey the Nazgul! And who commands the Nazgul? Hmm? <laughs>
Sin. Nasty orcs. How did they get here? How did they get through the haze, we wonders? No, they found Mel. We heard the orcs say it. The ruins in the mountains. That's where they took her, they said. of them. Let us be so. Cautious, my precious elves, orcs, avoid them all. Any sign of speeders? I don't see any tracks. Hard to spot between the orcs. They're looking for us. Stay on your toes. I can hear more of them coming from the river. Where's Lalith? Went back for Lamont. He can't just have disappeared. No trace here. Mm-hmm. 
He's crafty. Easy now, easy. Lalith, be quiet. They kill each other. Yes. Throw a stone, distract them. Drop your weapon, all right? Let's talk this out. You first. Which one of them? That's your last arrow, and there are many more of us behind me. Face not be the last thing I see in this world. <laughs> You'll be fine. Oh, we bows to the great master. Yes, yes. Run, you dimwit. Ruins, we made it.
little man that is orcs. Where is Mel? Must get closer. To the gate. Little master must be inside. We must help her. The blind one will never be our friend. She left us, just like the grass snake. But perhaps she can help us. What is this place? Keep looking! This goes, eh? <laughs> Some cursed ill thing for the war. The sorcerer wants it, Orbeck said. 
left or right. <sighs> like maggots in a bowl. Should have gone with Mohawk and his troops. Handsome dwarf, no beard, that was the order. No word about elves. What are we even here for? Some cursed elf thing for the war. The sorcerer wants it, Orbeck said. He already caught one cursed elf. He doesn't stop bragging about it. Orbeck's a fool. Please stop telling me things I already know. Some news for you then. We're leaving. Lost too many men to these cursed woods. And we're not even looking for that freak. The one we came here for. Of course. Leave, if you must. But there's one question that keeps haunting me, Briska. Perhaps before you go, you can help me with it. What? You. Where does the sun go up? What do I care? We are Uruks. We don't need the sun to show us the way. Anyone else feel the desire to leave? <laughs> Ev 
everyone wants to share their opinion today. The candle, then. But where's Mel? And still nothing. She doesn't know some word, she says. Let's hoist the Lord's banner on every pinnacle. Seems that fate is on my side today. We knows. We knows how to open the gate. Go on then. Help her. Open the gate, and you both live. You heard him. He'll let us live, so let's not test his patience. Don't trust him as soon as we open the gate. Shh! Find some water. Well? Give us time. Elf gates are fickle. Is this a friendly door? No. No, this one can be very unkind. say we must have faith won't need it for very long though you're about to kill us all starting with you i hope found water so what about it don't talk, don't talk. just think, think remember the door to gwendol's chambers this one is quite similar we need a secret word to open it and here is where my wisdom ends gwendol must have changed it we know as we found it you did? How? Doesn't matter now. The tree where Mel and Riddlemaster met. The picture they carved into the bark. Dear. Of course. How did I not think of that? Let me try. Tell me what you see. The left one. That could be a tree. No deer. Left. That doesn't look like any feet. Let's keep trying, then. What side should I change? Try right. <laughs> Looks almost like a deer, but not quite. Maybe the stars are in the wrong places. Wait. <laughs> Looks almost like a deer, but not quite. Eight of us weren't able to control the source, and we spent years creating it. No surprise, given how long it takes you to open your own doors. This stone must have fallen off. I knew something felt wrong. Can you put it back? Uh, what is he doing? The stones need to go into the holes, yes. But which? There's more holes than stones. What? Bird betrayed us. There's only one traitor here. Or didn't you take an oath to serve the Great Eye? What are you waiting for?
stars must be wrong still. No right. No gear. Left, left. As it is. Right, I think. Try right. Now right. The left one. Left. Left, left. Right side again. Left again. Now it looks like a leaf. Wait. Well, this sounds like we're getting somewhere. Are we done? All done, yes, yes. Let's give them a little surprise. Come down to me. Ready? Yes. Stay close to me and cover your eyes. Karandil. I can't see. We summon the light of the elders. Don't worry, you won't be blind forever. Also shut. Imagine that. Why did you come here? We never leave our friend alone, do we? No, not us. Friend? I wonder how your friend Deagle would feel about that word today. There used to be a way up here. We didn't hurt Deagle, we swears. Smeagol is good now. How are your eyes?
better now. Well, let's put them to use. your bird who found me. Bird found us too. They forced me to open the breach for them. The sorcerer saw a lot more through that animal's eyes than just you or me. He knows about the source. We need to get there before he does. I must find Gwendol. must swear, swear to let us leave and not follow us ever. Very well. Or oh, don't leave. Don't enter the dangerous source. Mel and I just hide until bad men are gone. I cannot abandon Gwendol now. Come on. There are a lot of stairs to climb. a long bridge now. Careful there, bridge is damaged. Shh. Listen. Come here. What is it? What's that sound? The wind. How can wind make shh? We shouldn't stay here. You're right. Deceive me. He is close. He is close, I know it. And the source, where is it, my precious? In the hall of wind and water. That's where we created the haze, molding the forces of the elements. I fear the river spring has long been soiled by the enemy. Mel can protect us from him, yes. She mustn't let them bring us back. She can make the river wash the orcs away. Riddlemaster is changed, perhaps. Doesn't like Mel with pale eyes. Won't help her like Smeagol does. Would you stop talking? I'm sorry. Did you say something? Hang! 
other side is full of haze. And floating things. Floating? Floating like clouds. Is that another riddle? Where are you? It blinded me. <sighs> He's with us. Elliot and Hiratien are fent fent Eliatha, Eden and Leggy Bank. Henian. So he will help us. Fine elves have met again, thanks to good Smeagol, but we must hurry now. The enemy has sent a sorcerer. I saw them through the haze, when they crossed. And I saw you. I knew I heard your voice. What does a sorcerer want? All I know is he must never touch the source. My strength is dwindling. I fear the well is lost to me now. It will need all I have left, and all of your strength too. Mel, this will not be easy. They are coming. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes. Let me guide you. We must enter the haze now. Don't let the shadows into your heart. Let me seal the door. This should give us some time. Come, walk beside me. The haze is spreading, my love. And all it touches is forever changed. It didn't change you much. You still wear my ring? I do. Smeagol was your name? Yes. Your friend doesn't say much. For once. Here we are. Don't get too close to the well. What's happening here? The entire hall is screaming. It's being torn apart. Above the well, the blazing orb, fueled by wind and water. That is the source of the haze. What's our plan? Destroy the source. No. I fear the haze is all that holds this hall together. But if we could somehow reach the well, we could try to heal it. But 
The elf said, don't go near the well. There are two wind towers that feed the haze with air and music. See those openings left and right. If we manage to close off both towers, we might calm the haze just enough. It will not be easy, though. We promise to help the elves if they help us in return. I don't know. There's no time for doubts now. I can't go, you know that. I will stay at the source, calm it as long as I can. You two divide the tasks and close off the towers. So be it then. I will take the left tower. Your friend can take the right. Can he climb? Like a squirrel. Follow the song of the wind, Smeagol, until you reach the highest chamber. There is a large wind gate there. Close it to silence the song. Up, up to the top. Close the wind gate. Watch your step. The haze has eaten away much of the towers. said to heal the source. How dangerous. Elves know best what they're doing. Mel shouldn't stay with the unfriendly elf. Perhaps she will leave with us. I was listening to Gwendolyn's voice. What's, What's wrong? wrong? Spiegel just wants to say good luck, doesn't he? Good luck. Good luck. luck. The other elf, do we? Of course not. All elves are false. Not Mel. Mel saw that Smeagol is her friend. That elf doesn't see anything at all. <laughs> well done, my dear.
Go left? <laughs> Not sure. leg what happened i tried to take the stairs there are no stairs exactly uh, i can't move it how is mel the wind is still humming the elf didn't shut the gate no good thing you came it looks like mel was right to trust you let me help you get up there at least that i can do watch Do not trust your step, or you will end up like me. Elf has nothing to worry about. Smeagol helps. Thank you, Smeagol. I will try to heal it, but it may take more time than we have. Good luck. Yeah. I love. I wish that Gwendolyn was gone. Then we could be Mel's eyes again, and she would drive off wraiths and evil men who want to hurt us. Mel would look out for us. Look out for us? It doesn't have her eyes left, does it? She made the ring of haze. His eyes can't find us behind the haze. The Candleman did. Came to take Smeagol back to him. Not all that safe now, is it? Be quiet! Be quiet! Be quiet! Smeagol won't be alone anymore. No, never again! Smeagol won't ever be alone again, will he? No, never! I wish the Riddle Master was dead! Gimbal! Find them! Must hurry!
scared little orc. Hmm? But this is our riddle master. <sighs> Time for our little game, my love. He would take Mel and go into the dangerous well with her. Smeagol won't kill him. No, of course not. Good Smeagol, just throw a little stone. Then Mel can be our friend forever. Friend? Friend? When has Smeagol ever been any good for his so-called friends? Smeagol always helps. Remember the Glashnig? That one didn't go home to his desert, did he? No, the precious, the precious made us do it. Yes, we heard that one before, hasn't we? Smeagol is good now. Even his little one betrayed Smeagol. Smeagol never did it any harm, did he? No, Smeagol gave it life. It loved Smeagol forever. Candleman said so. Very well. One more. Then what about the orc from our cell? Went up into the light, all because of Smeagol. Doesn't matter. Precious can't protect us anymore. Be quiet. We hate it forever. Be quiet. Wait. Go. Warn Mel. I will follow as fast as I can. What are you waiting for? Oh. 
great. Now there's only one question left to answer. Where does the sun go up? Where does he linger? What does a storm illume with glistening rage? The night. First, they'll impale you, then carve you like a suckling pig and serve you as your own last meal. And when you're nothing more than a shivering heap of flesh, they will throw you to his feet. Don't disturb me. Deal with him. Ashgula. Ashgathai. Und Aschil Usai! Und Kaschul! Und Aschil Usai! Dogbat Kultenai! Uk und Tu Gilnari! Very well. I'm calm now. See? I have no bolts left. It wasn't your fault. I was angry. Let us talk. <laughs> Hey, 
very happy ending. Yes. Now time for promise keeping. We did not forget. You kept your word, we will keep ours. The elves will let us go? You are free. Leave if you must. Or come back with us. They will go to their king now. He must know what happened. The elves of Mirkwood can no longer hide. War is upon us, and no haze will protect us now. You may have awakened us just in time. Yes. Very lucky they met good Smeagol. But it's a long way home, and the kind elves must be tired. Perhaps they want to rest first. Let Smeagol keep one last watch. Mountains, sweet one. And under the mountains, and then into the Shire. alone, my love. Isn't it nice? All alone. And when the precious is ours again, then they all has to be friendly, don't they, my precious? Very polite to good old Smeagol. 
We will make them, make them crawl! 